chalk one more up in the win column for the Ohio Bobcats. They improved the 7 and 0 for the first time since 1968. It wasn't the prettiest of wins, but they do knock off Akron 34 to 28 here at Peden Stadium. The Cats needed just eight plays to get their first score of the game, and that score came in memorable fashion. Tyler Tettleton pitched the ball to Bo Blankenship, who then handed off to a reversing Landon Smith. Smith pulled up, set his feet, and sent the ball airborne to a streaking Tettleton down the sidelines. Just like that, Ohio was up 7-zip over the zips. The hot start would continue for the Cats. They went 53 yards on four plays, capped off by a Dante Foster TD in the corner of the end zone for a 14-point lead. That touchdown pass would break Tettleton's tie with Boo Jackson for the most career touchdown passes in school history. It was Tettleton's 39th career TD pass. Matt Weller would knock in two field goals for a 20-0 advantage before Akron got on the board. Just before the half, Akron quarterback Dalton Williams marched down the field and found LT Smith in the end zone for a 19-yard touchdown. The Zips picked up right where they left off in the second half on a 10-yard TD pass from Dalton Williams to Tyler Williams. But the Cats weren't rattled. Starting on their own four-yard line, the Bobcat offense marched 96 yards, resulting in a Troy Hill touchdown reception, his third of the year. After an interception on defense, Ohio converted the turnover into seven more points. Ryan Boykin found the promised land just before the end of the third quarter for a 34-14 lead. But the Cats kind of forgot that they have to play the fourth quarter. Akron put 14 points on the board in the final frame to make the game a lot closer than the crowd of 25,000 plus anticipated. After Williams found Jared Dillard for their second TD of the quarter and only one minute and 55 seconds remaining on the clock, the ensuing onside kick would go out of bounds. Ohio escaped their third MAC game with a 34-28 win. Tettleton ended the game 13 for 27, good for 150 passing yards and three total TDs. He also accounted for 65 yards on the ground and 39 yards receiving. Bo Blankenship reached the 100-yard milestone yet again, the sixth time he's gone over the century mark this season. Ohio's defense gave up 456 yards of total offense, but looked sharp through three quarters. Ohio registered two sacks and two interceptions against the Zips. With 167 total plays and a combined 897 total yards of offense, the Zips and the Bobcats certainly put on a show. Now the Cats won't be in action next week as it is their bye week and it could not have come in a more perfect time. Coach Solich knows that they have to utilize the break. They deserve a, a rest and um, we're going to give them tomorrow off, Monday off, Tuesday off uh, from football. The only thing that they'll uh, have will be the training room open so that anybody that's banged up can come over and, and, and get treatment. But other than that, we don't want to see them. Um, want them to get away from it for, uh, for a little bit. Wednesday we'll bring them back and, and um, maybe get a, a lift in and do a little, a little running. We won't start practice until Thursday. We'll practice Thursday, Friday. We'll give them Saturday, Sunday off and then go Monday through Friday in preparation for the games. Now in two weeks, Ohio will travel to Miami to renew the Battle of the Bricks rivalry with the Red Hawks. The Red Hawks are 3-4 and four on the year and 2-1 and one in the conference. Ohio, of course, will be looking to improve to 8-0. That's all we got from Peden Stadium tonight. For the Bobcat Sports Showcase, I'm Mark Pierce.